Welcome back to another reaction video here on the Basketball Zone Cowbell Kingdom YouTube channel. Today we are reacting to another article by Bleacher Report titled One Offseason Trade Idea for Every NBA Team. This one will be fun and I'm going to say facts or foolishness. Let's get to it. So, number one, the Atlanta Hawks and the houston rockets are apparently making a trade and in this deal the hawks would receive avery bradley daniel house and the rockets would receive chris dunn oklahoma's 2022 first round pick lottery protection turns into two seconds if not conveyed i actually like the move because i'm a big fan of daniel house i think he's a very solid three and d guy and that is exactly what the Atlanta Hawks need. In terms of Avery Bradley, I don't love him. He's way past his prime. Uh, let's be honest and let's be, you know, kind of nice about it because, you know, he's way, 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 way past his prime. So I like that deal for the Atlanta Hawks a lot. And in terms of the Rockets, well, they get more picks because they're a bad team and they're looking to rebuild. I like that too. So it's it's a win-win, honestly. The Boston Celtics. Okay. The Celtics received Terry on Prince and the Cavaliers received Carson Edwards, Tristan Thompson, and the number 45 pick. Now, this is just more of a forward depth type thing. They're trying to get Prince, who's a 3 and D guy. Eh, I don't love it. It doesn't move the needle for me for either side. Actually, for the Cavs, you get a nice shooter in Carson Edwards. I don't really care about Tristan Thompson. I love his drama. And the number 45 pick. So, this is more of a win for the Cavs, in my opinion. And it doesn't move the needle if I'm the Celtics. So, that's just what I think about this move. The Brooklyn Nets. Okay, so they would get Montrez Harrell and Kyle Kuzma. And then the Lakers would get Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay, and a sign and trade. Okay. This is very, very interesting for both teams. I actually like this move for both teams. It gives the Nets a perfect bench big in Montrezl Harrell. That's going to bring it every single night. A defensive liability, but still, like I like what he brings to this Nets team. And then Kyle Kuzma, good defender. Very, very... You never know what you're going to get from him offensively, but he has an upside still of being a good scorer. So I guess we'll say that Kyle Kuzma, Montrezl, with Spencer Dinwiddie in the sign and trade. I like to do it for both sides. The Lakers get a very good player. It just depends on what version are we going to get from Spencer because we don't know what he's going to look like after this injury. He's been out for a while. so But in theory, on paper, Spencer is the better player out of both Carroll and Kuzma, and that would be a great move for the Lakers if Spencer is 100%. The Charlotte Hornets. Wow. It is a good move for them if it happens. P.J. Washington, number 11 in Boston's 2022 second-round pick. Man, if you get Christian Wood to the Hornets with LaMelo Ball, that is the ideal pairing. Like, the ideal pairing. Oh, my gosh. What a great move this would be for the for the Hornets. I don't think it'll happen, but it's good to dream. Chicago Bulls. Okay, Spencer is back in this deal. A sign-in trade for Thaddeus Young and a 2022 second-round pick. Ooh, I like Thaddeus a lot, but not for Spencer. This would be a win, mega win uh, for the Bulls, especially with Zach Levine pending free agency and just a very good player of if you get the good Spencer Dinwiddie, like the healthy version of Spencer. Cavaliers, <laughs> Kevin Love, Colin Sexton, and second and his future second-round pick for Dragic. And Iguodala and Tyler Hero. Ooh, this is a blockbuster, bro. This is a blockbuster for sure. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start with this one. Um, If I'm the Heat, so essentially you don't care about K-Love. You care about Colin. 
It's really like a Colin Sexton for Dragic, Iguodala, and Tyler Hero, right? I I like Colin, but ugh, it's a no. Like, if you're the Cavs, you do this in a heartbeat. But if you're the Heat, why would you, like, give... Uh, nah. I mean, if you're the... This one's this one's funny. This one's interesting. Like nobody wants Kevin Love's deal. Like he's gonna get bought out eventually. So why would you even no? Dallas Mavericks. <clears throat> These are fun, bro. We'll receive Will Barton, and the Nuggets will receive Josh Richardson, Tyler Terry, oh, oh, Terrell Terry. Sorry, who I like, and uh, a second round pick. You know, Josh didn't work out for the Mavericks, but I feel like he could have, especially on paper. And if you get Will Barton with Luka Doncic, I like that too. That's a great deal for the Mavericks. And Josh could need a a clean slate with Denver. And I feel like Denver could get the best out of Josh. We just maybe get that version that the Heat got out of him. So we'll see. It's It's not a terrible deal, honestly. Denver Nuggets, Marcus Smart, a second round pick, and then PJ Dozier, Monte Moore. That's a lot of depth that they're giving up. But my God, do I love Marcus Smart on Denver Nuggets? I love that. What a great deal for the Nuggets and a good deal for the Celtics too. Um, the Pistons, DJ Augustine, number twenty three. For Josh Jackson and number 37. Huh. So the Pistons, uh, this is just stupid. I'm not even gonna change. Like, no, I'm not I'm not giving up Josh Jackson for DJ Augustine. Like, no. No. I mean, unless you really want the number 23 pick. <clears throat> like if that's what you want, then that's what you want, right? Golden State, Zach Levine. Okay, here we go. Kelly Oubre, sign and trade. Number seven, number 14. 2022, unprotected. 2023, swap. 2026, top 10 protected. 2024. <laughs> oh, shit. This is funny. Uh, it's a lot. But why would the Bulls do this after giving up so much to get uh, Vucevic? Like that makes no sense. Like no, I'm 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 not I'm not entertaining this. He would be amazing though with the Splash Brothers. Houston Rockets. So they would get Kevin Knox number thirty-two, and then the Knicks would receive Avery Bradley and Daniel House. Makes a lot of sense. I'd make this deal for both teams. Makes a lot of sense. The Knicks need a guy like Daniel House. And again, not high on that Avery Bradley. But uh, Indiana Pacers. <clears throat> and the Pacers and the Knicks. So, D- so the Pacers receive a second round pick. And then the Knicks receive Jeremy Lamb. Mm, that makes sense. More of a salary dump type, salary dump type thing. You don't know what Jeremy Lamb is, especially after tearing his ACL. Uh, don't love the trade for either side, honestly. LA Clippers. Mm. Clippers will receive Kimba Walker and then Mr. Williams. The Thunder would receive Serge Ibaka, Luke Kennard, Rajon Rondo, number 30. Oh, this is funny. If you're the Clippers, yeah, you make this deal, duh. But if you're the Thunder... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, if it doesn't make the deal, there's a lot of assets there. You probably cut right Rajon. You keep Luke Kennard. You probably keep Serge because you probably want to be back in Oklahoma. And you just go from there and you get these picks, right? The L.A. Lakers. Okay, here we go. Lakers receive Buddy Heald. And the Kings receive Montrezl Harrell and Kyle Kuzma. You know, it's not a terrible deal. I think about it, especially if the Kings can't sign and probably won't re-sign Rashawn because then you're kind of like screwed. 
And Montrez would obviously have to opt into his deal. It's a player option, and that happens. Kyle Kuzma went to Tarot, but he healed. But he healed on the Lakers makes a lot of sense. And, yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible deal. It's something that both teams should seriously consider. Um, the Memphis Grizzlies. Ooh, Zach Levine to the Grizz. What? Grayson Allen. Desmond Bain. Anthony Melton, number 17. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. If I'm Chicago, get out of here with that trash deal. Uh, Miami Heat. Precious Achua, Andre Iguodala for Spencer Nobody. That's a great move. Great move for the Heat. And I think it'd be a great move for the Nets, too. Because they're going to lose him anyway. Like, why not get something out of it, right? Andre would be the perfect player on that team, by the way. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Ooh, they get Jonathan Isaac and Terrence Ross. Magic and Malik Beasley, Jared Culver, Jane McDaniels, Jake Lehman, a first-round pick, top eight protection. Okay, at least they're protecting their stuff now. Uh, I like the move for the T-Wolves. That's exactly what they need. They need a little bit of scoring, which they get from Malik Beasley. But you get elite defense from Jonathan Isaac if he's healthy, uh, which we don't know what he's going to be like after another injury, another ACL. It was his left ACL. Okay. Um, the Bucks. Okay. What? The Bucks. The Bucks. The Bucks receive Harrison Barnes, and the Kings receive Brooke Lopez, Dante Divincenzo, and number thirty-one. Wow. Way to shake things up, Milwaukee, after winning the championship. Oh, man. This is... <sighs> I think... I... <sighs> it's a tough, tough deal. Tough deal because the Kings are going to need a center, especially if Rashawn leaves. Still, man, I think you can get a little bit more for Harrison Barnes. Like, a little bit more. So, that's what I would do. I'd say no for the Kings. And that'd be a great, great get for the Bucks. Like, a phenomenal get for the Bucks. My God, that would be so good. Um, the Pelicans. Pelicans get Miles Turner. Okay. And the Patriots get Nikhil Alexander Walker. And number 10. You know, that's not a bad deal for either side. I think you obviously want to put Miles Turner and Zion together, right? So, it's a win-win. Make it happen, y'all. Make it happen. They get Alexander Walker, who I like, in number 10. Why not? Oh, th th sorry. This is a three-team deal. Then the Spurs would receive Steven Adams, number 35, a 22 first-round pick. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Pop loves Steve Adams, but he's kind of slow and way past his prime, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh my God. Here we go. Then next, get Damian Lillard. Quickly, Obi Toppin. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not doing that. Stop. I'm not doing that. Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, They get, the Thunder get Porzingis, Powell, Swaps. And then you get Kemba Walker. So you got Kemba and Luka. Okay. I don't know if I like this. I'm passing. I'm passing. The Orlando Magic. They trade Terrence Ross. And they get Tyus Jones. Concha. Uh, don't love it. The Sixers. They get Eric Gordon. George Hill. Mike Scott. Perfect trade for the Sixers. That's, that's, that's a win now. Like I'd love that for them. Um, the Suns, Larry Nance said he, ooh, ooh. Cavs get Jalen Smith, who's a bust. Uh, Dario Saric, number 29. I mean, I wouldn't do this if I'm the Cavs, but if you're the Suns, you do this in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Uh, if you're the Trailblazers, they get Ben Simmons, Anthony Tolliver, 
And then the Sixers get Robert Covington and CJ McCollum. What a deal. Win-win. Best deal of the year. The most realistic one that I've seen, at least. And these are the ones that actually don't happen because the NBA is weird like that. This would be a great deal for both teams. Great, great deal. Both players would flourish. Flourish. And I'm talking about CJ and Ben Simmons. They would flourish in their new situations. Sacramento King. Okay, here we go. Harrison Barnes, DeLon Wright for Derrick Jones Jr., Nurkic, Simons, and a 2023 first-round pick lottery protection. You know, it's not a terrible deal. I actually like it, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because Nurkic is never healthy, and he's the guy that you're probably getting, like that you want. So, and I'll, obviously I love Simons, but no, I'm going to pass on this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass on this. But that'd be a great move, though, for them. Like, if they get Harrison Barnes along right with Ben Simmons, that's a hell of a roster turnaround for the for the Blazers. Uh, the Spurs, here we go. And you get Harold and Kuzma, number 22. And get DeMar DeRozan. Good deal for both sides. Make it happen. Makes a lot of sense. And I don't have to go depth into. I don't have to go into depth about that. Oh, the Raptors. They get their superstar and Shea Gilgis Alexander, hometown kid, number sixteen, and they trade away number four. And OG on it. Nope. Okay. Um, if you're the Thunder, you say no because you have. A thousand picks, like why would you do that? But if you're the Raptors, this is a no-brainer. You do it in a heartbeat. Uh, Utah Jazz. They get Maxi Club Kleber and Josh Richardson, and then they, oh, oh, they get Jordan Clarkson and Derek Favors. Why the hell would you do this if you're the Jazz? Like that makes no sense. What a terrible deal. Mm, it's still stigma attached to three years for your own deal. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that deal. Just to got one more run in them. Wizards receive number 11, and the Hornets receive Thomas Bryant. Number 15. A second round pick. Okay, so you're pretty much swapping picks, and if you're the Hornets, you get a center and Thomas Bryant, which you like. Don't hate the deal could happen could happen and that was the final deal not a terrible deal but that was the final deal thank you guys so much let me know if you guys agree or disagree with my takes on or my reactions on these hypothetical trades from bleach report i'll see you guys on the next reaction video peace